this episode, I talk about tips, tricks, and things to watch out for when selling on eBay. What is up? What is going on, everyone? David, SVA Card Collectors. Just wanted to talk about eBay. Why do I want to talk about eBay? Well, like I said in the previous podcast, I am starting my liquidation of what I have. Not really liquidating, just selling stuff that I really don't care about, uh, trying to get some money, trying to, um, you know, boost up that PayPal account. Um, And I've been noticing a lot of um, things that, you know, could give you problems. Um, If you're selling cards on eBay, I suggest you do it on your phone and you find the card you know, that's the same as yours. And you can go to, I I would, what I would suggest is you go to the solds and you look at a card because it was sold. So obviously it went well. So I would go sell one like this. And basically you're going to use their, all their information as a template and it'll make it a lot less, um, you know, things for you to do. If you go on a desktop, a lot of times you're going to have to fill out all this information and it just takes a lot longer. If you do sell one like this, so for example, if you have a 1984 Topps Don Mattingly PSA 10, you type that uh, in the eBay search and then you go to the sold and completed and then you pick one, you, you, you just select one and then you go to sell one like this on your phone and it'll fill out most of the information. Um... All you have to do is, I would suggest maybe changing the title um, to be just a little bit different than what that is. And also take a look at the details. I've seen in a bunch of cards that I've been doing that they'll have the wrong player's name and it's in the back end. So it may not, you know, the title where people, you know, where it searches and you see, but in the back end, it won't be correct. It'll have a completely different guy because people do that. People just sell one, you know, as this, but then they just change it. Maybe it's the same year, but it's not the same player. And then they don't revise it or they, I don't know what they do. Um, So, you know, for example, I, I had a totally different person, totally different team on the back end. And will that hurt? Yeah, it will. And you want to be at the top, you know, you want to be top ranked. So every little thing that you do is going to affect that. And if you have a different name, for example, maybe um, if it's Don Manley, but in the back end, you have Paul Mahler. And for whatever reason, when people go to 1984 tops, Paul Molitor, your Don Manley shows up and people go right past it. And won't click on it because it's not Paul Molitor. It's Don Mattingly. Now, if it is a popular card that's being done, you're going to have a lot of impressions and nobody's clicking. Everyone's going on by. So eBay is going to be thinking in its machine mind going, well, nobody likes this card. This, might not, this is not the right card. People don't like it. And it's going to start dropping your, you know, where you're at in the ranking. So you don't want that. So make sure in the details, it is the correct year, it is the correct card, it's the correct name, and also the card number as well. Um, I saw a lot of card numbers, I don't even put the card number in, um, very rarely. And, and think when, you, when, when you're doing this, I, I'm, you know, deal with the back end, but now when we go to the title, what are the things that you type in to find a card? And just make sure that is in your title. Nobody goes great centering. Nobody puts a fire emoji. Now, some people do that to stick out. And that may help. And you may say, you know what? I've noticed that when I do that fire emoji, (laughs) that people go to my card. Um, But for the most part, you want to have the year. You know, if it's, we're going to go 1984, tops. Don Mattingly, New York Yankees. You may want to put rookie card because people do put rookie card. I, I've Plenty of times I put Don Mattingly rookie card. 
So that's something you could put in. You could put an RC, which is an acronym for for rookie card. Um, if you want to put the number of the card, it doesn't hurt. But if you don't have enough characters, I would take that out. I wouldn't care about that. And so all those things are important. You have to have a really good title with plenty of keywords. The guy's name, the team, the make, the year. Those are really important and should definitely be in there no matter what. Sounds obvious, but a lot of times people don't do it. A lot of people don't put the team names in there. Um, they should. A lot of people just put in Yankees. And if they are on two different teams, for example, Manny Machado. Um, I put, I think it was 2013 tops, Manny Machado, rookie card. Baltimore, I, I couldn't fit in Baltimore Orioles, but I put Orioles, I put Dodgers, because he's now with the Dodgers. So if somebody's looking for a Dodger and they want Manny Machado, they go, oh man, I want his rookie card. That's something that makes sense. That's another thing. You want it to make sense. You don't just want to put random teams in there. If he's on now on the Dodgers and you have the space to put it in, put it in. Um, and if you see that it's not working out, you know, if no, if you're getting impressions aren't that great, and bef you know, take it out. After a week, if you see nothing's going on, take that portion out and just leave. Maybe put Baltimore Orioles. See how that works. And you want to play around with it a little bit. Another thing that you're going to want to do with eBay. Um, just throwing out a couple of tips here. There are times you want to be efficient. And if you're doing hundreds and thousands of cards, you're not going to want to change things up. But if you're like me, and you got like 70, 100 cards, and you do maybe 10 to 15 cards a week, you can be a little bit different. And when I, what I'm saying is, um, everyone will have that card, you know, in a white background, in the card. Maybe put it behind a black background, a red background, or maybe change the angle of it a little bit for your front. Because when people are scrolling down and they see that, they go, oh, well, that's, that looks a little bit different. Let me, let me look at that. And I would also suggest do more than one picture. Do the front. Do the back. Um, if it's a raw card, do the corners. Do the back corners. You want as many pictures as you can. If you're not doing that many, you're, you're going to be competing against guys who do thousands. And they don't have time to do that. To take 10 pictures. You do. So do that. Would you rather buy a raw card. That has 4 pictures. Zoomed in of a corner. Or would you just want that one. You know basic card. Who doesn't even give you the back of the card. Um, I know I would. I want the card that. You know I want the guy who gave me 10 pictures of it. So just different things that you can do. To um, differentiate yourself. To try to get that sale. Because that's really what's important. You, you want to get the sale. And so those are some tips or tricks that I would suggest you're doing on eBay. Um, a lot of people, I talked about it in the um, Wednesday night's uh, discussion. Um, everyone's complaining about Topps Project 2020 returns. Um, one thing about eBay, their business. Not everyone's treating this as a business. People are treating this as a hobby. And when you treat it as a hobby, and you get returns like a big boy. Things happen. You know, you got you to gotta accept them. eBay is going, it is what it is. A lot of people complain, well, they're saying it's, this, you know, described items not as described, but it is. You know, they can't do that. They're lying. Do you go to Walmart? You want to return something from Walmart just because you don't want it? You change your mind? Do you want to hear that people at Walmart going, no, you can't. You can't change your mind. No, you got to keep that. Get out of here. Take it. I don't want it. This is a business. eBay is a business. Just like everyone else. They are about the customers. If somebody wants to return something within 30 days, they're going to get the money back. If everything's the same, it's the same thing. You got to be a big boy. Wear your big boy pants. Have your big boy pants on. <laughs> I mean, it sucks. Don't, don't get me wrong. I would be complaining just like, like they are on Twitter. But you sound silly. This is not stocks. You know, right now with Project 2020, people are selling cars that they don't even have in hand. And the prices went up crazy, and then they dropped crazy. 
and people now want their money. Now, people are being shunned in the industry, so, you know, like, I wouldn't return it, and people are like, well, you know, you have integrity. No, I don't have integrity. I know everyone's going to yell at me. They'll block me. I feel bad. No, um, I, I couldn't do it just because I would feel bad, um, especially if I did it to, like, 10 cards. That would just be crazy. Um, I couldn't do it. But some people, you know, don't have that money. They, they took a chance. They took a gamble. And unfortunately, you're going to be losing out because it's not your platform. It's eBay. And it's a business. Again, you got to treat it as a business. If you don't treat it as a business, that's what's going to happen. So what you could have done is you could have sold it on Instagram. And if you sell it on Instagram, you're not going to be coming up with this stuff. You still might because if you accepted it through PayPal, you can say, hey, I want my return from PayPal. Different beast. It's not as described. You might have a better, you know, shot at it. But most time, no. PayPal's just as bad. So I don't know how you would get out of it, but those are the things that happen. Um, and so you just gotta suck it up, Buttercup. And um, that's that with regards to returns and and what's going on eBay. Um, you know, people saying, oh, Feebay, you know, they complain about it. So, you know how much traffic they bring in? You know how hard that is? That is insanely hard. And so, to get that many eyeballs on all your, all your cards, it's just, there's a reason why people sell on eBay. There's a reason why people sell their most expensive cards on eBay. Because it gets the most eyes. You're going to get the most money for the most part. Um... If you don't want to deal with any of that stuff, build up your Instagram. I have a post. You can head over to the website. I tell you a couple of tricks to build up your Instagram. I, it, it, It's all about consistency, and that's what I lack. <laughs> but if you post pictures every day and you're engaged and everything like that, you're going to build your group. You're going to build a, an audience, a following, and you will sell cards on Instagram. Um, but it just takes time, just like anything else, even on eBay stores. Um you know, it, it takes a while to build up, you know, inventory, customer base. Um, so, yeah, I went off on a tangent. I just wanted to give a couple of tips on posting stuff. Um, I don't know how I got into a returns rant. Um, it, that's just what happens with me. <laughs> I just go rants. Um, but nobody should be exiting eBay anytime soon. I think it's a, a, a good platform. Um, hopefully they pay me for this. They should, even though I do complain, especially when I did electronics. Oh my God, the returns I used to get on electronics, I would just want to rip my hair out because it would be hundreds of dollars and I would have to return. I would have to pay for the shipping. Ugh, that's not like $3 and 50 cents where you can, you know, pay for somebody to get a card. It was like 30 bucks. And then you have to accept the, you know, the $200, $300 hit. And sometimes you wouldn't even get your PayPal feedback. So you lose out. Ah, oh, God almighty. Whatever. So I'm done with that. All right, guys. SVACardCollectors.com. Also, download the Foot Chat app. And you guys know what to do. Buy some cards and go broke. Later. You've heard me talk about Starstock. They've been a sponsor of the show for a couple of months now. Well, now you can deposit Purchase cards, view in your collection, and flip those cards back on the marketplace with so much more to be built. Starstock is building a sports card marketplace aimed to be faster, cheaper for flipping sports cards than any other platform. They're currently looking for people who want to submit their cards to sell on this new platform. Here's what Starstock is offering. 5% commission, no ingestion fees. You send in the cards, they do all the work. Cards are guaranteed and secured in the vault. I've seen the little guy, his name is Pepe, he doesn't let anybody in and out. Um, you can choose cards to ship back to you at any time. You can buy, flip, store, or ship cards with a click of a button. If you're interested in getting involved and sending those cards, contact Mike at Mike at Starstock.com. Again, Starstock is only looking for rookie cards and are prospects of current players. Head over to Starstock.com.